Hi everyone, Simon here for Tomans Drum Bash. And today we are diving into the captivating snare sounds of the early 80s. And before we get started, I want to make one thing clear. We're not here to replicate these sounds perfectly. We are here to get inspired, to experiment, and to find our unique ways to capture that magic. As we have quite a big room here in the Drum Bash studio, we set up two room mics. One is five meters away from the drums, pointing towards the wall to capture the reflections of the drums. The other one is outside in the corridor, 25 meters away, to capture the sound in the distance. So grab your headphones and let's get started. Our first stop takes us to this unmistakable deep, fat snare sound that defined an era. Think Come Back and Stay by Paul Young, Careless Whisper by George Michael, and Purple Rain by Prince. What characterized these tracks was that warm and punchy Rich body. Here I have Sonor's 14x8 compressor aluminum snare that has that fullness you're looking for. And playing wise, you should consider not playing any rim shots because this will choke the drum too much, but you should still play with a bit of intention. And also experiment with the tension of your snare wires because this will also affect the low end and general sound of your drum. So this is the fundamental pitch and sound of this snare drum. Moving on, we hit that sweet spot between medium and high-tuned snares, and these were the sounds that kept us grooving to hits like Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen, Easy Lover by Phil Collins, and Addicted to Love by Robert Palmer. For this vibe, I've got a 14 by 6 nav Ludwig Supraphonic snare drum with a clear Remo CS Black Dot drum head. And this is such a versatile and legendary snare drum, giving you a lot of crispness and brightness without sacrificing depth. This is the fundamental pitch and sound. All right, moving on into the realm of high-tuned snare drums. Hits like Notorious by Duran Duran, Owner of a Lonely Heart by Yes, and Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer were propelled by this sharp and cutting snare.
capture this, I have a Tama 14 by four and a half SLP dynamic bronze snare with a coated ambassador head and I play slightly off center and with quite some power to get this specific sound. And this drum has a distinctive high end snap and precision that these songs demand. This is the fundamental pitch and sound of this drum. Before we move on, let's talk about what truly made these snare sounds iconic. Gated reverb and gated ambience. Imagine having the impact of the drum and the sustain of the room perfectly balanced. This technique creates a signature sound that is instantly recognizable. Gated reverb involves adding a significant reverb effect to the snare drum, followed by a noise gate to quickly the entire room's sound and involves miking up the room where the drums are played in, of course, applying reverb and then using a noise gate to shape the sound. This gave the drums a powerful attack while allowing the decay to vanish abruptly and providing a sense of space without muddying the mix. There you have it! The secrets behind those legendary early 80s snare sounds. Remember, we're not copying, we're finding inspiration to create something that is uniquely ours. So, are you ready to experiment with gated reverb, gated ambience and find your own twist on these iconic sounds? Let me know in the comments below and while you're down there, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so we see each other again in one of the next videos. And remember, keep practicing, keep grooving and keep the beat alive. Simon out, bye bye.